dry, parched, barren. These are just a few words that might come to one's mind when thinking about the deserts of southwestern United States. However, if you look carefully enough, these deserts are thriving with life. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Mallory and welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. Today I want to share with you some of the most fascinating things I discovered while traveling through some of the most desolate places in the United States. But before we dive into the astonishing realm of desert animal adaptations, why don't we warm up to this curious conservationist quiz. A desert climate is characterized as a region that receives less than how many inches of accumulated rainfall each year? Is it A, 10 inches, B, 15 inches, or C, 25 inches? If you guessed A, 10 inches, then you got it. It is amazing that some animals have adapted to survive an entire year on the same amount of water that a human can only survive for a week. Desert dwelling animals have evolved remarkable ways of surviving the harsh desert environment where water is scarce and the heat can be deadly. Due to the lack of stable water sources, many creatures can derive their moisture from desert succulents that accumulate water in their fleshy tissue. Meanwhile, insectivores and other carnivores can gain most of their needed water from their prey. And in springtime, most everyone takes advantage of the ripe, delicious cactus fruit. But not only is finding water hard, so is conserving it. For example, contrary to the frog, the desert toad has rough, bumpy, thick skin that allows it to have more surface area to absorb water and also prevent it from dehydrating. Equally ingenious are the ways these animals have been able to adapt to avoid the notorious and potentially fatal desert heat. In general, most desert animals are duller, lighter in color to help reflect the sun and not absorb so much heat. Also, many residents have become creatures of the night, if you will, or nocturnal, which means they are most active at night. However, there are also many prey species that need light to see their food, but also want to avoid the heat. These animals are called crepuscular, which means they are most active during early morning and late evening. There are a select few, like some lizards, that are diurnal or most active during the day. However, they do stay pretty close to shade or a nice cool burrow. But as far as unique, specific animal adaptations go, I would have to say the Sidewinder is pretty impressive. But unfortunately, I don't have that footage yet, hopefully soon. So I guess the next best thing would be the Desert Cottontail. Those long, fantastic ears are filled with blood vessels close to the skin surface. So as the warm blood circulates through those ears, it cools down and returns back to its body. Also is the animal we highlighted last week, the desert bighorn sheep. Unlike humans, the desert bighorn sheep is able to safely raise its body temperature just a few degrees to better tolerate the hot summer heat. Pretty fascinating stuff, right? Now I am sure I have missed a ton of other animal adaptations, but that is why they call me the curious conservationist and not an expert. So please help me out. If there are any that you know of that I've missed, please comment below. If you haven't already, please subscribe below so you can join me for more adventures and you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook for more fun facts. Well everyone, thank you again for joining me for another Fun Fact Friday. I hope to see you again next week and until next time, this is Miss Mallory inviting you to step outside and adventure.